So we're here with Adam Hinchwood on the back of a nil nil draw with Chippenham at home. Adam, initial thoughts on the game, what do you think of it? Um, yeah, it was a real real sort of tough afternoon. Um, not many chances either way. Um, and yeah, we had a lot of the ball out. Their, their shape was good, it made it difficult for us to, to sort of break them down. And um, yeah, on the day we didn't just show enough quality. Um, but yeah, certainly we've got to be better in, in the forward areas and move the ball quicker. Uh, for whatever reason, it just didn't seem to happen for us today. Um, you say about a lack of chances in the game, and I think the first half was particularly like that. It was quite a physical game, a little bit nip and tuck. I think a lot of people expect that coming into the national self, that physical element of, of, of the game. What were your thoughts on that? Like, do you sort of think there was anything we could have done to break that down? No, only, only, only thing on, on that really is that JB's been absolutely smashed now, two games running at home, um, inside the first five minutes, and. You know, not not picked up a booking just because it's early on in the game, and you know, I, I'm I like the leniency of you know, people going over too easy and um, letting the game flow. I think it's it's a lot better. It's good for the game, but um, at the same time, like he, he could have missed the game um, the following week, and the lads not received the caution or nothing like that. So, um, and I don't think it should matter because then our, our player makes a challenge, which is then exactly the same, pretty much five minutes later and it's deemed a booking. So I don't get the whole inside the first five minutes you can't get booked. It just seems like that. But um you know other than that it's yeah, no no qualms on, on the officials at all. Um got a job to do. Uh, I'm sure they've done it to the best of their ability today and you know we certainly won't be hiding behind any decisions or, you know, physicality from the opposition. Well go back to one decision that I know you say don't want to hide behind anything, but there was a goal disallowed for worth in have you got any thoughts on that? Which, what was your perspective from that goal? No, the linesman was quite quick, thought he was offside, so you know, got to go with his, his judgment. Um, you know, it happens. Uh, we've got three cameras here at the game, I'm sure we'll pick them up on, on one of those, whether it was onside or offside or not. And, um, you know, if it, if it is onside, then, you know, what can we do about it now? We can't do nothing. So, like I say, there's more for us to, to focus on. Um, but the, the pleasing aspect of the game is back-to-back -back clean sheets now. Um, you know, he's asked, I've, I've asked the team to defend our box a bit better and a bit more aggression and, you know, to do that and keep two clean sheets um, on the road is, is very good. That was a frustration from the first two games, but yeah, like you say, back-to-back -back clean sheets, so obviously a lot of improvement in the defence. Um, going forward though, um, obviously not a lot of chances, you've said before about sort of taking your chances and not getting quite so many. I have to say that Reece Miles Meekums was making a lot of them today. What do you make of his performance? Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's done excellent since he's come back in the last couple of games, Mix. Um, he's working really hard, he's getting into good positions for us. Um, but yeah, like what, what we want from our forward players is that end product. Um, you know, it's all very well and being neat and tidy, but how many goals, how many assists is, is those forward players getting? And you know, that's what we've got to look at um, and what it boils down to, you know. Not one for stats, but those stats at the end of the season um, will tell a lot about the team. Um, so, yeah, I want to see him be a bit more proactive. He had a good shot, I thought, Tuesday with his left foot, straight down the goalkeeper's throat, but it was a well worked um, opportunity. Um, yeah, there was there was not just the four players, I thought, you know, we had three headers, um, we had shots from the edge of the box, not all with four players that were a bit disappointing, um, a bit tame, and, um, you know, the level we're going to, you've got to be, you've got to be more clinical. I think Oli had one where he's called one-on-one, -on -one, um, didn't take it. Adam's got a great touch and then has a shot that goes wide. Um, but, yeah, it's all... What you can't fault the players is they, they kept coming and we, we tried our, our, our best to try and get the winner, but it just wasn't to be. Yeah, um, but looking over the last four games, you know, we were a decent chunk into the season, well, a decent start into the season anyway. Eight points from 12 games, seven from a run of three games in a week. It, it's a really good start, it's promising. Yeah, yeah, like I say, we'll, we'll always focus on ourselves and see where we can improve and I think there's there's even more improvement to come from the team. Um, that's not being disrespectful to anyone, I think we've had some really tough games in those those first four and definitely teams that will be looking to, to be up there and challenge. Um, you know, chipping them today, they've been in the playoffs last year so they'll want to be, you know, building on that um, this season. So, you know, these teams have got to find their feet and get up and running and be pleased that we've found our feet nice and early in the league but um, I'd say yeah we focus on, on ourselves and, and what we can improve on and today it's you know 
creating more chances from the amount of possession we have. Nice to have a week uh, break to be able to do the training, two training sessions, everything, going into Dartford next week. You're relieved to sort of be out of that run of fixtures and have a bit of breathing room to, to reflect on it. Yeah, a little bit. Um, definitely, we've like we've picked up a couple of injuries. Lewis has tweaked his hamstring coming on uh, against Weymouth the other day, so that's a it's a big blow for us. Um, obviously, Jake's still out, and you know, looks like he's gonna be out for a while with his one. So, you know, forward options. It might be something that we've we've got to look at and um, maybe get some help in, in in that top end of the pitch um, just to to help the boys out. Um, but yeah, like they, they work great and effort, and you know, we had a slight tweak to the shape. Um, midway through which I think worked at certain times um, gave us a bit more of a foothold in the in the game but yeah um, yeah we've got two good sessions now to really knuckle down and make sure that we're better going into Dartford. Well all the best Adam thank you very much for your time and best of luck Saturday at Dartford. Nice one thanks mate.